Hello, 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 everyone. I am Paula Abdul. And hello, everyone. I got two cameras. I got one over here and one over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to be able to move back a little bit. To use a steamer and how to get that drop curl that I did uh on the video that I did previously. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, be demonstrating um, my video. I'm not getting here. Excuse me. Very good. Okay, that way I can be on both videos. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate how to be able to get that drop curl look, um, uh, and, and then also how to be able to curl hair. And um, with the steaming and with the curling iron. So the very first thing you're gonna have to do in the, and have to get is if you don't already have it already is a steamer. I'm using the Conair. Right, you see right here, Conair. Okay, I'm moving back from two different cameras. I got a Conair. Okay. And this, and it has the switches back here. If you have high, set so on high or low. Okay. Now, with this particular steamer, they have they have a cartridge. Okay, that you have to remove. This, at the bottom, this is the cartridge. Okay. That you have to remove, okay, in order to be able to get put water in it. Now it already has some water in there, and you can see it has some water in there, okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this steamer to the side for a second, and I'm gonna break this down to you how to be able to get your water into your steamer. Now, for some steamers, you have to just pour the water in there. And then put the cartridge back on. This one you have to take and you have to pop the cork off. This right here. And right here in the middle. That's the first thing that you're going to have to do. Okay. Next thing you're going to have to do is. Sometimes when you're steaming hair. You're going to have to. I bought, I'll just put some water in here. You can get any bottle. Okay. So that you can be able to put water in the steamer. Okay. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to open this bottle right here. They got the water in it. And I'm simply break down how to get it in there. Okay. Now, since it has such a little bitty hole that's there. Okay. It's a very little hole right at the top. Okay. What I'm going to do is. Okay. You see that? I'm trying to get it on this other camera here. This is a little bitty tiny hole that's up there that's at the top. Okay. And what now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pour some water. I'm 
into that steamer and fill it up. Okay, this is the reason why that the water bottle is so important because you have to have something that you can take and you can be able to put the water in. Then after that, you put the cork back on. Okay. I got the cork back in there. As you can see, the little cork is at the top. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this steamer, and this little area that's right here, I'm going to have to lift this back up in order to be able to secure that little cork of water back on to it. I'm breaking this thing down so it can be explained, so it won't be no confusion of how that goes. Okay, and I'm doing this because of simple fact, I don't want nobody to be saying what well, it's Paula Dude's fault because she didn't break down how to be able to use this thing. Okay, it's not. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to, it's a little area that's right here. It's a little area that's, it's a little hole that's right there. Okay, that little hole that's right there, it's another little nodget that's right here. Right there. It's on that steamer, right, right here. You want to align them and get that part back together. Then, in order to get the steamer to be able to, you got to hit this button. Um, is it says down? It's down. You got to hit that button there, okay, and press it back on. Now, once you do that, you just let it go. Okay. Now, the next thing, in order to get that steamer, in order to come on, you have to take the steamer and you, 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 you have a high heat setting that's there and you have a low heat setting. It's up to you. I'm going to put mine on low and then it's a trigger that's right here. It's a button. You see, I got a little, it got a, a lever there. What you want to do is you want to take that trigger and you want to lock it, push it, and lock it down. Then you want to hear, see that? There go, there go the steam coming out. You see it? There it is. Okay. Now, when you want to take a wig that is unruly, you see this wig right here? This one right here. This word is very, very, very unruly. I'm right here. Okay. This word is very unruly. You see how tough it is? Take the steamer. And just like you would do a flat iron, go down it with the steam and start to straighten it out. This is what we're going to be doing today. Okay. Showing you that it can be done. I just straightened this one area of hair right there by just taking the steamer and running the steamer down the hair in order to get the hair straight. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing today. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to lift this back up, turn the steamer off, steam off for one second, and I'm going to show you some other things that you're going to need in order to be able to to get the hair, once you get finished steaming it, and once you get finished uh, getting it all straight, how to be able to get the style that you want. Like I said before, you're going to need clips to be able to hold the hair clips. Okay, in place. Once you get finished making curls, or you want to hold the hair in a certain area, you go definitely need some clips. Whatever clips that you got. You got metal clips. Okay. And you got the plastic type clips. Like this. That open and close. See that? Okay. Or you have these particular type of clips. Or whatever type of clip that you have, please use them. Okay, because that's going to help you be able to take and separate the hair. Another thing that you're going to need in order to be able to untangle this type of hair. If you don't have a wig brush, then get you a brush. Okay, they will, will help detangle the hair. A 
prefer to use these kind because they help you undertake detangle unruly wigs really, really quick, like this. Or you go need a brush just like this, okay? Because they help detangle hair that's unruly very well. And you need to part that hair, okay? Make sure that you got a comb. They have a line like this, okay? Because it, it has a little pick on the end. If you need to cut hair that is unruly, okay, or hair to a certain length, or you're going to fix a certain style, you're going to need a scissor as well. Okay. And also, as I said, you can also get some of those old school hair clips like this to also hold hair in place. Okay. So, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Very simple how to do that. First thing you want to do is when you first start in the part, you can either use your comb this way, okay, and take the hair and just start to part it in sections. That's what you want to do. You just want to part the hair, just take the hair, and then in order to get the hair out your way so that you can be able to. Do what you need to do. Take the hair like this and twist it. Twist it up like this. And then once you get finished doing that, take a clip and clip your section in section. That's section one. I'm putting this one up right now because this is the way we're working on. And I'll move this other wig out the way so we can get focused on this way right here okay because that's the one i'm doing now when you start getting to the back we want to do the same exact thing you want to take let's go to the back this is a clear back of the, the head piece then what we're going to do is we're going to take this little area here if it's easy for you to use the back use out of the back of that cone and kind of put it apart okay put it apart then once you take it, you, you pull it apart. Okay. And you got you got enough hair again. Once you got enough hair, do the same thing. Take that hair. Now twist it. Okay. This is how you're gonna get the hair out your way. So you can be able to see, so you can be able to steam it on the wig cap, or on the wig head. If y'all know who the, the wig head, anybody who ever seen my videos, know I'm, you're doing this steaming only today, okay? Or Latoya the hair. Now, that's the wig stand, that's why I named her. Now we're going back around to the side here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take, and we're just going to part. No matter if the part is straight or not, we just want to take and we want to get the hair, okay, where we can be able to steam this hair. Then we're going to take it, we're going to spin it like this. Just twist it. Then wrap it, just like you would do if you're going to bun your hair up or turn your hair, bun your hair up. Then get one of these real big, huge clips like this and then hold it. That's why I said get one of those big, huge clips because those huge clips will hold the hair. It's strong enough. Okay, and, and, and it's not wrong with investment in, in a few, especially when you're working with weeds and you're working with real thick ones. Okay, very good. And so we're focusing on this wig right here. We'll get to the other wig later on. Okay, now I'm going to show you a simple curl style. It's just a simple two or three curls on it. That you can do. Okay. But right now. We going to get back into this. And we are going to start to part again. Remember these parts don't have to be perfect. Understand. Very good. Now. What we are going to do. Is we are going to take. This next section. Okay. And we are going to spin it. Okay. Spin it, 
and get it up out your way. Take it and clip it on to the other little hair there and hold on to it. Because that's what you want to do. You want you want to get the hair out your way so you can be able to get this thing straightened out. Now, take your comb again. Go back to the back. Once again, part it through. This is extra long hair. If you got to take your hand and put it through and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull that in order to get it to untangle, then do what you do what you must. Okay? Now you see this long hair? Twist it. I'm still here. I'm on, on this camera number two. I'm still here. Okay? Because you can't see my face. Don't worry about that. Focus on the wig. Okay. Now, now that we have this hair, I got a lot of these clips here. You see this? I'm going to clip it and I'm getting it out the way. So I'm getting all this hair up out of my way so I can be able to stain it. This is the purpose. Okay, we're going we're making sections here. Okay, sections. The more sections you have, the better your steam will come out. If you're doing it on the wig head, if you're not doing it on the wig head, that's something else. That's something totally different. So all we want to do is just take and clearly part. Down that middle like that and get all the hair out the way. It's not difficult to show you how to be able to steam the hair, but I'm not focusing on just steaming the whole wig because that'll take quite some time. But to get get it to the point where you understand it of how you're going to do it section by section. Okay, and then we'll put one drop curl in there. To break that thing down. Okay. And you should remember that it all had to be done section by section. You don't just throw it together. It's some work. Okay. Now, we have this other section right here. I'm turning it back and forth. Let me bring this down a little bit. Just a little tiny bit so you can get a focus on the weed. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this comb and I'm going to part it here. You notice this here, I got to kind of pick through it because it's a little tangled. Okay, that's okay. Very good. Now, this is the, this is the area we're going to focus on for right now. Okay? Now, we got, now we've done this. And we got all the hair out of our way. Twist it. Wrap it, get it out of your way. Everybody will do this. This is my technique, it's my method in order to be able to steam a wig when it's on a wig head, not on a table, on a wig head. Okay, now what we're gonna do, it is no need to do a lot of wetting and stuff because the steam, because the water that's in the steamer is gonna do that. Okay. Now I got my comb. While I've got my comb, I'm brushing out the tangles. There. Okay. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is... I got my steamer. You've seen it before. All right. Turn this video here. Very good. Now, all I'm going to do is hit this button. You see this thing? It's coming out. See it? Now I'm going to hold on to it. Now don't hold on to the hair way up here where the steam will get you. Hold on and get all go all the way down and hold all the way down. And then get away from your hand and just go down the hair. All the way to get to the tip of right here. Now when I get to the tip of the hair, at the tip, okay, right here. I'm still not, I still haven't stopped, okay? I'm still going all the way to the tip, to the end. Just get it at the end, okay? You see what I'm saying? Right here, 
got to focus it towards there. And while I'm doing that, I'm still getting all the way, you see that, to the end. I'm going to the tip, to the tip. I'm going all the way down. But I'm keeping my hand away from the hot steam because the steam can burn you. You see, I said, it says caution. High heat. Okay, that's what it says. It says caution, high heat, steam. Meaning that you need to be careful because it can burn you. Okay? And so we're going to go ahead on and we're going to just take and we're going to do it like this. And we're going down it. And we're going to steam. And we're going to steam. And we're going to keep on steaming. And not only am I steaming the back, I'm also steaming, I'm steaming this way too. So I can get underneath the wig where it will take and it will get all messed up and it will get real tangled real bad. Okay, so that's part one of how to steam the hair. And what you want to do is you want to go section to section to section. So once you get finished with that first section, then you take the next section, let the next section drop down, turn the steam off. This is going to take patience. Okay. Now we're going to untangle this other group of hair. Okay. So we're on that sec second section. And we what we're doing is we are steaming the hair, but we're steaming the hair in sections. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm not doing it all at once. I'm doing it in a section. Is all right? All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to take and get my tool again. I'm going to hit that button. Pow. The steam comes back out. And now I'm going down the second section. Holding it at the end, going all the way to the tip. All the way to the tip. Holding it out. All the way. Until I get the tip. All the way. Okay, now if I pull my uh, wig head back real far from it, then I can show you what I'm doing. So, I'm going all the way. And when I go to the all the way, I'm going to the tip, and then I'm going to let it go, because I'm not going to burn myself. I'm not striving to do any burning, okay? Okay, so go over that several times, uh, as many times as you feel like that you like with the wig that you have, depending on the desired straightness that you want to have, or if the wig have got, like, tangled and out of control for you, and then go ahead on and work with that hair and get it straight to the point how you want it. Now I'm turning my steamer off. Next step, in order to be able... To get a curl, all I'm doing is I'm using a kind of iron, but I'm not going to plug it up. What I'm going to do is, in order to get that size curl that I want, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a section of hair, like this. Just take this section. Got this section of hair. This is the section that I want. Okay. How I'm going to use this clip, these clips are, I'm going to move this other hair, once the steam, out of my way. I want to hold it out of my way. Okay, because I don't want it to be in my way in order to be able to steam this hair. Then, what I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do in order to get the, spin, the curl pattern in this hair, okay, is I'm going to take this barrel right here. And then first, I'm going to get, get, get the desired curl I want. I'm going to go down it. Hope y'all see this. I'm going down. And then, from there, I'm going to spin it to where I want it to be. Okay, I'm going to spin it all the way up this time. Okay, now I got it all the way up where I want it. Okay, now 
All I'm going to do is take my steamer. Very simple. It's on. You hear the steam coming out. You can see it. See that steam? Okay? Very good. Now I'm going to hold it on to that curl. And I'm going to steam it. Not only am I going to do that, I'm going to turn it around a little bit so I can get the rest of the hair. And I'm just going to rub it over that iron there. With the curl line and let the steam get inside of it. Go to steam it. Okay. If you want to, you can uncurl it a little bit more. All the way down if you choose to make sure that the steam get the hair the way that you really, really, really want it. Okay, then spin it back up. And just hold it there for a while. Now, when you get finished steaming, put it out the way. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I can keep on going. Put it out the way. Now, what you want to do is, once you get finished doing that, you want to take, in order to let the curl down, you want to twist and twist. And twist and twist to the end. And this is how you get in that drop curl in the hair with a stamer. Okay? You see that? That's the curl. Okay? We're going to do... Now that we've done that, we're going to move on. To the next wig. Now this is the next one. Okay. Now we're going to do something where as Take for example. And move this other hair out the way. Because I'm going to work on the front right now. And only the front. Do all this other hair back. I'm going to out of my way. And I want to take. And I want to make a curl. In the front of the hair. Okay. I wanted to make it earl, curl it under, curl it over, whichever way that you want to curl it is your business. Get that same curling iron. Okay. When we get that same curling iron, take that curling iron. Okay. And put that shorter hair. Okay. And curl it around. The curling iron. Okay. Now once you get around the curling iron, get your steamer again. Okay. Get your steamer. And hold it. You want to get the inside of the curl as well. And put it up on the hair. Like that. Okay. Then, once you release the steamer, okay, do the same thing. Release it, and it will make a flip or make a curl in the hair. Okay. We're going to do another one. Okay, but before we do that, if you want that curl to hold in real tight, then take that curl, once it's been already done with the steamer, and then lock it in. If you want that curl to be tighter, take your clip and just hold it and clip that hair, clip it. Down into place. Okay. Clip it. 
hold it. Now, go to the next curl. There's a big curl knot. You can do it any size curl knot, smaller or bigger. We just I'm just demonstrating what the steamer can do. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm flipping it over instead of under. Just, 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 just to get understanding of that. Okay. Me and me and myself I'm flipping over. I mean I'm curling it back up this way instead of curling it under, going that way. Okay. And I'm going to take this hair all the way to the end. And I'm going to just turn it up. Just like that. Right there. Now I'm going to get my steamer again. Wow. Here come the water. Here come the steam. You see it? The steam. Wow. It's coming. You see it? And we're going to hold this steamer. Some of you would use the steam clothes and curtains and all that stuff. But this kind of hair, people say they can't curl it with a synthetic curling iron because it burns. It's not human hair. This is synthetic. It's a very highly even expensive synthetic wig. Okay. Her name is Nicole. Okay. Okay. Now, we done did the steamer thing. Let me release that button. Okay. Then, this is my clip. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to release this like that. And as you can see, there's a curl that's there. Now, because I want that curl to hold, I'm going to take that curl. And I'm going to roll it back just like this. If you don't have clips, use bobby pins. That'll work too. Okay. Now, once I, once I take and I do that, then I'm going to go just let, put that clipper in there, put that clip in there, and hold it down. There it is. And the next curl is in place. We're going to do that one more time. And then we'll do one more drop curl. And that's something for you to practice with. Okay. This project is easy to do. It's not hard. And we're going to do one more drop curl. And after that, this video will be over. And um, I'll show you the finishing result of what it looks like after I get finished. Okay. Because this is work. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is the third one. You see it? Okay. We finna go get old, good old kind of steamer. You finna hit that button. Pow! Okay, very good. And we going to the next one. Okay. We gonna steam. Look, steam the coal here. Let's let this wait. So you stay in my heart. So stay in my heart. For a while, hold it. For a while. Now, I'm going to lift up on this. Okay? I'm going to come up off that button right there. And let's see what happened to Nicole. There's a curl. Okay. There's some curl in there. Okay. Now, and we want that little bit of curl that's there to hold in a coat. What we want to do is we want to roll that around our finger there. And just hold the coat in place. Okay. That's a demonstration of how to work with short hair. Or a very fine weave, okay? It, it don't necessarily have to be human hair. It can still be synthetic. Now, we're going to go back over here. Let's pull. Just right here. We're going to pull her back out. You're going to take a small little space. You see the small little pieces that I'm taking? 
small. I'm not taking huge, huge sections of hair to do this. I'm doing small sections, very small. Okay, now I'm going to take my clip here, and I'm kind of just move this hair out the way. That's what I want. I'm moving her out the way because it's in my way right here. Okay. Now, if you want to take even smaller sections, even smaller, I'm mean, talking about smaller curl, go ahead on and just go on and get that smaller, smaller piece. I'm talking about a small piece like this. Not a big piece, a small piece. Okay. That's my brush drop. Don't worry about that. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, I got it all the way to the end. You see me pulling it all the way to the end. Now, I'm going to just curl this. Okay? And when I curl it, notice that I'm holding it to a... I, 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 once I curled it, it's not, I'm not holding it straight. I'm turning it... Once I curl it, I'm twisting the hair this way. I'm twisting it. So it can go straight up and down. Now, woo! They go kind of steam. Not standing steam. Kind of. We're just going to wrap that hair right on around that steamer. One for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready. Now go, go, go. Very good. Here we are. Now, I'm, this is a trick I'm showing you. Roll the steamer out a little bit so you can get the inside of the curl. Get it. Roll the curl. Roll the curl right now. Spin it. Okay. Then spin it back in. And get it real good. Okay. You want to get the ends all the way to the ends? Roll it down to the ends. You can do that too. You know, so I want my curl to be dead real super tight down at the bottom. I want that curl to be tight. Get it at the bottom like this. Now roll it back up. And while you're rolling it, stain. While you're rolling it, stain. These are our other techniques. Okay. Roll it back up. Do you want to take all that? Yes, it do. Bam. Now, I'm going to lift up off that steamer. It's go, it's going to, I'm turning it off so the steam can't go back. Can't go. It can't come out. Okay. Now, from there, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spin it. Okay. You see the spin? I tore it. I'm going to wrap it around. Now, I'm going to wrap. Then, I'm going to wrap it again. Now I'm release it. Ding 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 ding. Drop curl. Hello. Hello. That's it. Okay. And you just keep on doing it all the way to the end. No problem. Okay. Now, another technique you can do, like I said before, you can start from the ends of the hair. Let the steam come out. Then steam it from the ends. Get the inside. Make sure you get the inside because you want to steam it good. Then while you're doing that, you want to spin Okay, that's a little harder. And then kind of steam it there. Is it alright? Very good. I'm still here. No matter about you see me or not, just look at the hair. Okay. Roll it back out a little bit. And this is the Catch 22. Okay, so we have learned how to straighten it. And we have also learned how to curl it. Let me hit this. Pow. Okay. There we go. So you have a wig that is very unruly. Okay, from there, we're going to spin this. We're going to spin this. We're going to spin it. We're just going to wrap it around. Uh, unleash it and release it and there we are three beautiful drop curls right there you've seen it with a curl on eye i didn't plug it up all i did
for the this hair here. And you can see, we're putting it all the way back now. So you can get those dry curls. There they are. Okay? Very good. Uh -huh. So, take that. For the ones who are trying to straighten their hair, remember, take a section. Release it. Okay, then... I'm on this side right here. Brush it out a little bit. Help you help yourself to make it a little straighter. Okay? Brush it. Do a little untangling yourself first. Because you don't want to straighten the hair and then it's tangled too. Because that's not going to be a good idea. Okay? Now... If you want to take smaller sections of steam them, be my guest. And, and that's to take a smaller section and kind of pull it out the way, move it out the way, okay? Move it out the way, and then take a smaller section, okay? Make sure you brush it real good, because we're about to end this video. But I want to break down that mystery of how to work with that. Drop curl thing to get the hair, okay, where you can be able to do what you need to do, okay? And this is how we're going to do that steaming thing. Remember, go hold, don't hold the hair all the way up there where the steam can burn you. Hold, go all the way to the end. See, I'm at the end. Right there. I'm at the end. Now, I'm going to hit that thing. Here comes the steam. There it is. And I'm going to go that. And I'm holding it to the end, 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 to the end. Once I get to the end, I'm going to let, let it go. Okay? Go up under it. And this is how you're going to press hair that is synthetic. Okay? Synthetic. Or you can take big sections like this. Just big sections, and then do it like this, and just take the steamer down it real easy. That's the, that's the easy way to do it. Once you get to another section, okay. If you want to get a better steam, you said, "Oh, it's not coming out looking like it looked like your hers on the camera." Okay, brush. Okay. So it depends on each individual. Some want to take smaller pieces, fine. Some want to take bigger pieces, fine. Everybody don't have all day to do this. Okay. But as long as you know, oh, I can take it and I can steam it and then get it straight. Uh -uh. Okay. Take a little section if you choose. You see how you see how the water's running out? If you need to refill it, you know how to fill it. I'll show you how to fill it again. Just show you how to fill it. Okay, just take your water and refill the basin again and start over. That's, and how you refill it is you remove this off by lifting this thing and it comes off. So what I'm going to do before I steam this other hair, I'm going to do it one more time. So that they, so you can get an understanding of how you do that. Lift off the cork or wherever you need to remove to open it up for your steamer, whatever kind of steamer you have. Now hold on to the bottle. The reason why I got the bottle, the bottle tip, is because the bottle tip. It's very, very small, and it's easy to pour because, like I said, that little trough there, where the uh, where 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 it's gonna go, that little hole is real small. Okay, aim for it. You know, it's just gonna be a clean transition, but ooh, this is so easy. She must have did this a whole lot. 
before she tried to make this video. Hundreds of times. Very good. Okay, very good. Here we go. Pow. Smoothly back on. We put the cork, pop the cork back on in there. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. Now, we're going to do it again. Hi, huh? before we get, hi, huh? hit this. Lift it. Okay. Then we're going to take that little area that's down at the bottom, like what I said, where that little hole is. Fit it. Then, once you fit it in there, get, get a hold of that cork. Okay. Very good. Snap it back in. Make sure it's in place now. If it don't look like it's in place, if it look like it's lifting back there, you didn't get it. Because you don't need your um, thing falling out while you're trying to do the hair. Okay, very good. All right. Remember, don't try to steam this, <laughs> steam somebody, somebody with what is on their head. Okay? Don't try to do that. Because that might literally burn somebody, hurt somebody. Do this off the person's head. Okay? Let's do this to your own wig or whoever wig. Okay? Now, let's hit this button right here. We got a refill. Yay! Okay, very good. Now, and on and on and on we go. All the way to the end, all the way to the end, all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Ah, to the end. You can just steam any color weed. And you can also do this to um, um hair, that braid hair too. Connecticalon hair. This is also Connecticalon. And we just going on down it. And we're going to straighten it on out. Oh, Jesus, man. Straighten it out. Get it straight. Right. Come on, America. Let's go, England. Yay. For anybody who want to know, I was also drafted in by the, uh, uh, sorted with the, uh, on, on, on the computer. Uh, for, um, just taking a test when I was a kid, just watching movies and stuff like that. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And two, the house, Gryffindor was the house they took and they sorted me in. Okay, I was sorted into the house of Gryffindor. And, well, we know we're, 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 we're Ravenclaw and Gryffindor was kind of fighting on me a little bit. But I was sorted into that house in 2004, 2005, 2006. And also, I took a test with the Marauder map to see what wand I would have. And my wand would be a 13-inch penis feather, just like Harry Potter. Very good. Just just some just some uh, fun facts for you to know. We're going to do this. I was also born, I was born in the month of August. In the year 1972. That's a fun fact for some people who didn't know. What day was Pablo actually born? We got one more good time. If we're going we to do it, yeah! Hit that button. Do what they say. And for, for the road, this is one more good time. Just watch how I'm doing that. Hold it at the end. Don't, don't let it get your fingers. Like I said, don't hold it up here. Don't hold it up here. I'm going to steam it. You're going to go up here. No, you hold it all the way to the end. You're going to burn yourself. Okay? And just like you would use a flat iron to straighten your hair. Okay? Guess what else you need to straighten your hair? Hello. I'm even, I'm even pulling it up this way. You can do it like that, too. If you think that you got, you got, you got what it takes, you got skill. Okie dokie. So, now... Those areas that was really super, super, super burned or that were looking bad and, um, they was like burned or, and uh, they was like, you know, not holding on and they wasn't holding on to the situation. There, there we go. You can steam the hair back out no matter what the condition and it may have been, even if you did burn it with the curling iron kind of bit, a little bit, you can do that, okay? Very good, you know, and just kind of like hit it like that and kind of go down like that. We good, okay? Thank you for watching this video, and I'm concluding with that. And I'm also letting you know to don't forget the stuff you need in order to style the hair. Make sure you get your little radiance. This is sheer radiance. Glitter hair gel. You can use any type of hair gel. When you get finished styling your hair, get you some holding spray. As I said before, this right here is just a brain. This right here is called Bella Linda hairspray. Okay. Got the bleed glue ultra hair gel. 
use that to lay down your baby hair and lay down your natural hair before you add on your wigs and things like that. And then your good old fashioned mousse. If you need to straighten out a wig and brush it out and get it a little softer and smoother and straighter before you take it, you put it in the ponytail to do whatever extra you, stuff you're going to do. Perrier mousse and any fabulous mousse that you have at your house that, can, that will work for you. Um, I'm not stressing a specific time. Okay, now, now once once you get finished doing your little, uh, 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 um, so this, this wig was really bad. My wig had some burning even on the ends of the tip because I had used a curling iron on it. But even then, it still knocked out some of that really bad, 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 bad hard, hard burn that was there. It didn't get every part of here. It just got some parts. But even then, even so, I still smoothed it out a little bit. And you see that? Okay. So, it is what it is. Okay. So, if you're going for straight hair and you're straightening it, wonderful. If you're going for curls and you want to put curls in the hair, wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. And remember this. Once you get finished, take it and you put no drop curls in the hair. Spray it. Not a lot. Okay. Just a little tiny bit. Okay. Just a little. Okay. For those drop curls. And those drop curls will hold in there. Okay. Now I'm going to move this wig out of, out the way. Before I say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody. It's okay. Now. We see this. Where where these are. Okay. Um, You might want to do the same thing as well. Okay, so once you got finished curling the hair, kind of do it like that. Okay, the curling spray holds on to the little curl that you're striving to put in your hair. Okay, now once you get finished doing that, leave that in there overnight. Okay, leave it in there overnight or if, if you're in a hurry, uh, make sure you got at least two or three hours ahead of a situation before you take your curls out and brush your curls out, okay? Very good. All right, so when you want to brush your hair and you want to brush your wig out, if you don't have a wig brush, this will do just fine, boo. Okay, this, these, kind of, these kind of brushes is meant for this kind of stringy texture type hair right here. Is that okay? All right. I want y'all to have a wonderful day. Thank you. This is a, a been an um, informative video for uh, the ones who are striving to style their hair. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put them back in place. This week, this week, stand here is Lily D. And we did the curly. Okay. On her. Okay. To get an idea of what you're doing with that steamer. Okay, and then with this wig stand right here, let's bring her back. Over here has been the star wig stand from the beginning. Okay, and her name is okay, the oldest one had over 20 years. That's because she all banded up, patched up, and everything else. Latoya D. Latoya D had been the champion for me styling these wigs for. A long time. Without no toilet D, I wouldn't know where I would be. Okay? Yes, I may get a new wig stand someday, but sh I'm, I'm, I'm attached to her because she has been the one that been a champion. She has helped me win a whole lot of pageants and a whole lot of different uh, situations. So we got how to curl the hair here. You see what's going on with her. We curled her. And also, uh, uh, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and don't forget to share this video with someone else. It really does help the channel grow. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is Paula Dusson Sr. Um, right here. Okay. They styled and steam these wigs. Thank you very much. Get your Conair steamer or whatever steamer you can. Thank you.